there are several provisions uh, in the Senate version uh, that were not uh, uh, compliant with the uh, Financial Action Task Force uh, recommended actions. However, uh, the lower house version is uh, much better because they captured all of those uh, recommended actions uh, included in our or written in our mutual evaluation report. So would you say then, sir, that your preference uh, that you prefer the House version more, would you say as well that there might actually be some provisions in the Senate's amendments that would actually work well to our advantage? That is correct. Uh, we prefer the lower house uh, version because uh, it uh, appropriately addressed uh, and was uh, very responsive to the mutual evaluation report recommended actions. Uh, in particular, there are uh, three provisions in the Senate version that uh, are not uh, compliant. The first one is uh, because in the mutual evaluation report, there's a recommendation for uh, Congress to pass a law that will grant AMLC full investigative powers. Uh, the lower version addressed that uh, recommendation. They granted us full investigative powers, but the Senate version did not uh, grant the AMLC such powers. That's number one. Number two is the inclusion of real estate brokers and developers as covered persons. Again, this is one of the key recommendations uh, indicated in our mutual evaluation report. This was addressed by the lower, uh, lower house version, but not by the Senate version. And uh, the third one is very minor. Uh, they both, the House and the Senate version, uh, they, they both uh, included tax crimes as a predicate offense. However, uh, the threshold uh, was, there was a minor difference as for the lower uh, house, it's 20 million threshold. For uh, the Senate, 25 million threshold uh, amount for uh, tax crime, violation of tax crimes or commission of uh, tax crimes. However, the more important issue is uh, the repeal of the provision that says uh, the AMLC shall not intervene with BIR operations. So uh, we move. Uh, for we proposed for the deletion of that provision because if uh, tax crimes is already a predicate offense, then we need to coordinate uh, with the BIR. But this provision was retained by the Senate version. So those three uh, provisions are very important and critical. And uh, if uh, these are not addressed, we will still be included in the gray list.